Hi, I'm John Arcan. For 23 years, I own one of the largest sports memorabilia shops in Chicago. Now I travel the country buying and selling some of the most unique items out there. And here in Big Ten country, you never know what you'll find. Debbie? Yes. I'm John. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I hear you got a program for me to take a peek at. Yeah, I do. Come on in. So that's it. That's it. That's the Great Lakes Recruit. We always like trying to find, when we have a yearbook like this, we always want to find the sports section. The sports section usually has the athletes that the collectors are looking for, the Big Ten superstars. In this particular case, uh, Great Lakes had two Big Ten superstars. They had Patty Driscoll and George... Hallis, founder of the Bears. Well, it has a lot of pictures, so that's one of the things I really liked about it. That's great. That's uh, that's right what we're looking for. Here's George Hallis right here in a team photo. What's nice about seeing this is you don't usually see team photos, and you usually don't see things from 100 years ago that have such prominent players. I know there's George Hallis there, but Patty Driscoll was on that team too. There was five Hall of Famers that played on this team, and, and George Hallis at the time was the only collegiate guy out of the University of Illinois. Here's a picture of Patty Driscoll. He was also one of the founding members of the Chicago Bears and Northwestern alumni. Having these guys in one photograph is tremendous to find, but in an almost 100-year-old yearbook, having several photographs and full stories with it, you, you, just, don't, you just don't see that in, in, in today's marketplace. Finding something like this is extremely rare. What were your intentions with this? Did you want to uh, just get it appraised today or are you looking to sell the item? I was looking to sell it. Do you have a price in mind you're trying to get for it? Yeah, I was thinking about $400. I would assume $400 is, is, a, is a retail price on that. It'd be tough for me to pay $400, but I, I would be willing to offer $200 for it. It is a unique item and you're just not gonna find too many like this. Would you go 300? $300. You know, it's in great shape. The papers are intact. There's a Harley Davidson ad from 1918. And with all the photos on there and all the history on there, I don't think I'm going to run into this again. I, I would do $300. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I also have this piece. Wow. October 4th, 1930. It's a great piece. I already recognize some of the major players in this. That particular Halfback is Bronco Nagurski for the University of Minnesota. Bronco Nagurski was a legend with the University of Minnesota, later became a Chicago Beer Hall of Famer. This is a great piece. What are you looking to get on this piece? I was thinking maybe like $300. $300. That'd be tough. If there was $200 behind this piece, I would be more than happy to do it. The problem with the paper, the paper is so delicate, and once you get it out of the frame here, as great as it is to have Bronco Nagurski on it, it just doesn't stand the test of time, so collectors aren't willing to pay a lot for it. I would probably be closer to $50 on this item. How about $100? I'll tell you what, I can do $75, but not a penny more. All right, you bought the other items. I'll do $75. Great. Thanks. Thank you.